Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jersey Collection video. Today we're doing the New York Islanders. This one shouldn't be too long. I think I have six jerseys to show you guys here. Um, so we'll do the six jerseys that I have, and then I'll give you my top five for the Islanders franchise history and my favorite jerseys. And honestly, this one was a little bit harder to narrow it down to five. Um, the Islanders have had some pretty nice looking jerseys out there. I know I always kind of rag on their current home jerseys, one of the worst in the entire NHL history. I'm really not a fan of their current home one, but overall throughout their entire history they've had some really nice ones that I quite liked. So we're pretty much going to kind of get right into this here. If you guys haven't seen the intro video to this kind of series, kind of explaining what's going on, I'd recommend going checking that out. I'll leave a link at the end of the video. I usually always kind of throw that in, but you guys can search that up on your own. Um, yeah, that player up there, can you guess who that is? It's a pretty easy one, I feel like, but we're going to get started off with the first one right now. All right, up first we have the 2007 to 2010 row jersey. This one I did unbox and on the channel, although I don't know if I actually technically unboxed it. I think the packaging on this one was really ripped when I got it, so I opened it right away. But I kind of revealed it on the channel when I got this. Having said that, I've been after this jersey for a very long time. Uh, this is, I would kind of consider it to be a grail level jersey for the Islanders. Probably one of my favorite looks of all time. Not quite sure if it's my favorite of all time, but absolutely love it. Uh, I would love to get the dark version of this as well. Um, it is blank. I got it from just some random eBay seller. And I'm probably going to get Miro Shatan put on this at some point. He's one of my favorite players. Uh, I would love to get a Pittsburgh jersey for him, to be honest. Or maybe even Boston, even though he wasn't in Boston very long. But I need a Shatan jersey. No, I'm getting him on a Buffalo jersey. Never mind. Who am I getting on this one? Give me one quick second. That's right. I'm getting Ruslan Fedotanko put on this. Another former Penguin. Um, yeah. Yeah, Shatan's going on a Buffalo jersey. Fedotanko on this one. That makes sense. Um, absolutely love it. Very, very, very happy to have it. And this is a jersey. I want to get the logo stitched on because I want it to last a while. All right, up next we have the road jersey from technically only 2010 to 2011 because it does have the Reebok RBK vector kind of logo on the back so technically this jersey was only around for one year which is pretty cool that I actually have it now that I think about it. Um, it is blank. I think I got it from Pro Hockey Life. Can't quite remember and yeah, it is blank. I'm going to get Nabokov put on here because I really want a Nabokov jersey and don't have enough room in my San Jose collection to get him. Um, I really, really liked this at first. Now, not so much. Um, kind of over it. I still do like it in the Adidas, kind of the more modern take on it where they just kind of added the blue uh, ring back around the Islanders logo. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, like I said, I think it's still a nice looking jersey, but not my favorite that they've had for sure. Up next we have the home jersey. Uh, so the Islanders came out with this as a third jersey in 2008, and you could just see the writing on the wall that this would become the full-time home jersey, which it did in 2010. Um, I do count this kind of as a 2011 because it has the wordmark logo on the back. So from 2011 to 2017, they have this. Now, I got this really cheap. I went back to Saskatoon for a wedding, and the store that I used to always go and buy my jerseys from had this on sale for a really good price, like I think $30 or $40. So, figured I'd get it. Um, it is blank. I would like to get Johnny Boychuk on there, and the reason that I wanted this jersey is so I can get the orange numbers and, and font on there in the back that they wore during their last game at the Coliseum. Well, what they thought was their last game at the Coliseum. Um, I absolutely really like the fact when they do the orange numbering. Uh, it makes this jersey way, way better. And this jersey is much better than their Adidas one. The collar in the Adidas looks awful. Um, by far the worst collar in the NHL at the moment in Adidas. Uh, but this jersey, not too bad. I'm, I'm happy to have it. Up next we have the 2011-2014 third jersey. Uh, one of the uglier looking jerseys, but having said that, when I actually got it and looked at it in person, honestly, I quite like it now. I, I honestly really do. Um, I don't think this is the worst jersey that they've ever had. I think that is 
the one that they probably would have had after this, that blue third jersey that they had in the stadium series, that one was bad. Um, but this one, I actually really like. I never honestly would have bought it, and I didn't actually buy this. I got it free uh, from Cool Hockey, actually. I have the video on this channel where I unboxed a Vegas Golden Knights The Road jersey, and this was just in the box. They were giving away jerseys, I guess, uh, with a purchase of a named Adidas jersey. So it is blank at the moment. I would love to get Mark Stride on there with the C and that number two up front. Um, I'm kind of not making getting my Reeboks all done up a priority, but this one I kind of really want to get done, and I think it'll make the jersey look that much better with the name and number on there. I think that'd be a kind of a cool video to do where I kind of give my top five um, jerseys that I feel like need customization to make the jersey that much better. I think this might be one of them. All right, so up next we have the 2007, no, sorry, 2015 to 2017 black third jersey. I honestly, I love this jersey a lot. Um, absolutely love it. I know a lot of people are kind of weirded out by the Islanders in black, and I know it's kind of that whole basketball, I think, team time with the Nets, I believe they're called. I, I don't know basketball. Um, but, you know, from their time at Barclays Center, I think this jersey's amazing. Uh, at first I thought the collar was very weird, but little did we know that was kind of the future of jerseys. Um, yeah, amazing. Love this jersey very, very much. I think I'm going to get Yarrow Halak put on there. Um, not sure where I got it. Maybe Pro Hockey Life? I don't quite remember to be honest. I know I didn't pay full price. This was a one that I got on sale for a pretty good price. And yeah, very, very happy to have it. Very underrated, and I love the striping, the four Stanley Cups, for the four stripes. I uh, love the collar, the orange and the blue inside the collar. Yeah, absolutely love Oh, no, I'm not getting Halak on this. I'm getting Grabowski. Uh, yeah, that's who it was. Man, uh, like too many jerseys I'm trying to keep straight here, but yeah, Grabowski on this will look fantastic. And last, but certainly not least, New York Islanders third jersey. Out of probably all the ones that I own, with the exception of the first one that I showed you, this might be my favorite one that I have. Again, just kind of coming down to the I like Adidas ones better. I feel like they're just going to last me a little bit longer. Um, I don't typically like the Islanders in the royal blue, but in this particular jersey, I think it looks absolutely amazing. I love the collar. I love the orange stripe here. Um, the simple logo, I really love. I like the white on the shoulders. I like that it says Islanders on the back, on the inside. It's got a little map or thing of Long Island. Really cool. thing that wins it for me is the orange numbers. Uh, if it didn't have that, I probably wouldn't have gotten this jersey, to be completely honest. And I, This was, again, one of the jerseys that I needed to get customized right away. As you obviously saw, I got Bailey on there. I did have the orange uh, A. I know that they've kind of switched. I think they use the white A now, but I wanted to get the orange one because when I got the patch for Charles Wong, um, they were wearing that color of A, so I had to get that. Uh, the jersey I got through Ben H Sports, and the customization, I actually ordered it off eBay. There's a company that was selling a whole bunch of name and number kits. I kind of, I think I did a video on it on my channel a while ago. Um, so yeah, I got that. I took it to my jersey people and asked them to stitch it on for me. I think in the end, I was hoping it was going to save me money, but I think it actually ended up costing me about $5 extra if I would have just taken it in and got them to do it in the first place. Um, yeah, they screwed up the A. The A was way over here. I don't know what the hell they were smoking when they put the A on. Uh, so I had that taken off and fixed. Thankfully, it looks pretty darn good now. Kind of got it in the proper placement, and yeah, probably my favorite Islanders jersey that I own, that I actually wear. And my top five favorite Islanders jerseys of all time, number five, I'm taking their current reverse retro. I know a lot of people were really disappointed with it, and in terms of being a reverse retro, it's awful. In terms of being a jersey, it's beautiful. It is a classic, clean-looking jersey. They fix the collar. I love the uh, navy blue as opposed to the royal blue. I wish this was their full-time home jersey. I think it is one of the best-looking jerseys out there. 
Again, I get kind of criticized a lot for, oh, you don't cheer for the Islanders because you don't like their home jersey. That's weird. Yes, it is weird, that's for sure. Uh, but if they had this as their home jersey, it would make it a lot easier to cheer for them. Number four, I am taking that black 2015 third jersey. Love it. Uh, I think it's one of their cooler looks that they've had. Very different from their what they've had, and nothing I would change about it. I think it looks fantastic as a overall uniform. Number three, I am taking the white fisherman jersey. I wish I had this jersey so bad, and again, I kind of feel like we all wanted this as a reverse retro, and it was a bit of a missed opportunity. I thought it would have been fantastic. It would have looked amazing. Even if they would have went with the fisherman kind of template, but then put the regular Islanders logo like they did after the fisherman, I think we would have even accepted that. Uh, but what we got obviously wasn't what we wanted. But the white fisherman jersey is something that is just a thing of beauty. Again, kind of childhood nostalgia a little bit with this one. Really like it. Number two, I am taking their current third jersey. Again, perfect. If it didn't have the orange numbering on the back, probably wouldn't be in this list. I think that jersey or that customization choice makes this jersey. Uh, again, if they were to make this their full-time home jersey, I would absolutely love it. And I think it'd be really cool to see a white version of this as well. Uh, just to kind of a, a bit of a change for the Islanders, I think would be welcome. And number one, Islanders fans, I'm so sorry, but I am taking that white 2007 to 2010 jersey. Absolutely love it. So, uh, every time I play with the Islanders in NHL like video games, whether it's 21, 20, 19, whatever it is, I usually will always make the Islanders wear that. I absolutely love this jersey. Uh, there's absolutely nothing I would change about it. I love the striping on the arms. I like the stripe on the kind of on the shoulder yoke area the numbers on the front of the jersey look really cool the overall uniform fantastic i love the shoulder patch that they had to that little um during that time perfect absolutely perfect nothing i would change about it but that pretty much wraps it up for this video guys up next we're going to be doing the new jersey devils so make sure you come back and check that one out as well and yeah that pretty much does it guys let me know what your guys' favorite islanders jerseys are of all time and we'll see you guys again soon take care Bye.